welcome back to my channel Akshita here and I hope that you all are fine. So friends today I am going to explain you about calendars and timeline. So friends first let's start from calendars. So friends there are two types of calendars Gregorian calendar and Saga calendar. Okay so first let's learn about Gregorian calendar. So friends here is the structure of Gregorian calendar. So friends in the Gregorian calendar, Gregorian calendar is also known as the solar calendar. Remember friends not lunar calendar uh, that uh, this calendar is known as solar calendar and friends it was introduced, introduced by Pope Gregory 13 in October 1582. Okay friends, so this is the structure of Gregorian calendar. So friends, in the leap year, in the Gregorian calendar, every fourth year is a leap year in which February has an extra day that are 29 days. Thus, a leap year has 366 days. Friends, in Gregorian calendar, in a normal year, when the normal year goes on, so that in February there are only 28 days and the number of days in the normal year is 365 days. But friends, when leap year comes, so February has an extra day that are 29 days. Okay friends, and then in the leap year, there are total number 366 days. Okay friends, so let's, as we have learned about the Gregorian calendar and friends, I want to say one more thing that the Gregorian calendar is widely used in most of the countries. Okay, now friends, let's start of the Saka calendar. Okay, Saka calendar is known as the Indian National Calendar. In ancient period, means in history, ancient period, most of the people which were in Hindu religion, they mostly used the Saka calendar. Okay? So in Saka calendar also, there are 12 months. Okay? As you can see, in both the calendars, there are 12 months. But there is very different uh, things, very different names. See? Now, in the first January, the first month of the Gregorian calendar is January. And the end month of the Gregorian calendar is December. Now, here, in the Saga calendar, the first month is Chaitra. And the last month of Saga calendar is Fago. Okay, friends? Now, friends, when in the Saga calendar, when leap year comes, then what happens? So, friends, when leap year comes in the Saka calendar, so, actually, the month, Chaitra, sorry, 20, on 22nd March, 22nd March is the first day of the Saka calendar. As in the Gregorian calendar, the first day is 1st January. So, as in the Saka calendar, the Chaitra, sorry, that is 22nd March is the first day of the Saka calendar. So, whenever the leap year comes, so, uh, 22nd before, that is 21. So, on the leap year, 21 March is the first day of the Saga calendar. Okay, friends? Now, it was about the calendars. So, friends, I am even going to tell you about the relationship between them. Okay. So, as I have said relationship, that, no way. I am going to pronounce all the sub, sorry, all the names of the Gregorian calendar and the Saga calendar. So here comes the Gregorian calendar. January which has 31 days. February has 28 days on a normal year. And in the leap year there are 29 days. Then March 31 days. April 30 days. May 31 days. June 30 days. July 31 days. August 31 days, okay, September 30 days, October 31 days, November 30 days and December 31 days. Now let's go on to the Saga calendar. See, this is Chaitra, which has 30 or 31 days. This is Vesha, which, is, which has 31 days. 
Then Jesh, 31 days are Shad, 30 days Shravan, which is also known as Shravan. Okay? Shravan, uh, 31 days Bhadra, 31 days Ashwin, 30 days Kartik, 30 days Agrayan, 30 days. Then Posh, 30 days Ma, 30 days. And Fagun also, 30 days. So friends, as I have explained you about the relationship and about the calendars, so let's go on to the timeline. Okay friends, let's go on to the timeline. timeline. So here is the diagram of timeline. Now friends, in the timeline comes BC, AD, BCE and CE. So friends, first let's learn about BC and AD. Of course friends, I, I think you know that of course they both will have the full forms of it. So now let's learn about the full form of BC. BC stands for before Christ. As you understood that before Christ means before the Christ, before the born of Christ, okay, birth of Christ. So friends, BC is counted backwards. Okay, for example, 200 BC uh, comes before the 100 BC. Okay, this was one of the example. Now friends, let's go on to AD. AD stands for Anno Domino, which means in the year of Lord. Okay, which means in the year of Lord. So, as BC is counted backwards, so AD is counted forwards. For example, 200 AD, 200 AD comes after 100 AD. Okay friends, 200 AD comes after 100 AD. You also know. So friends, the year is considered as birth of Christ. So friends, I hope that you would understand about timeline of BC and AD. So friends, let's go on to BC and BCE and CE. So friends, mostly, generally, historians use BCE and CE instead of BC and AD. BCE stands for before the common era and CE refers to the common era. So friends, this was very easy and I hope that you would understand about it very easily. So friends, if you like this video, please do subscribe, share and like. And thanks for watching my video.